Hello everyone, this is Scorpion from How To Do, and this is the third video on how to make GTA for Android in Unity. And in this video, we will be learning how to set up this camera so that uh, we can move it around with this invisible joystick over here, and we can also move our character uh, with the joystick uh, in the in the left. So yeah, let's get started. So in the previous videos, we were able to make this. So we were able to make our character move around uh, with the joystick but we couldn't m do anything with this joystick and our camera was like that and yeah so let's let's just do that so first thing what you need to do is you need to just go ahead and say right click and create an empty object and we have to reset the uh, this transform so that it pops right in the center of the scene like that and then we're gonna rename it to um, player setup and we're gonna drag uh, the player as well as the main camera inside of the player setup all right so that when we move the uh, the player or the player setup the player and the camera will also move so that you know uh, it's 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 good to keep in check everything and then what we need to do is we need to select our character and say edit uh, or right click and say uh, create empty object all right and we're gonna call it a uh, camera or cam follow there we go and uh, we're gonna go ahead and say control D to duplicate that so control D and bring it out of the player all right just like that so that one camera follow is inside the player and one camera follow is inside the player setup all right and we're gonna and rename this to cam base so this is the camera base all right so we're gonna drag and drop the camera base inside the uh the camera inside the camera base all right just like that uh now what we need to do is uh, we need to go ahead and select the camera base and we're gonna select the camera follow also so camera base and camera follow and bring both of them in, in the middle of the player all right so as you can see it's in the middle of the player so that the camera follow is also in the middle of the player as well as the camera base is also in the middle of the player all right cool now we have to select the camera and set it in a third person uh, cameras like style so we have to drag in the camera and we can rotate it and bring it in just like that and we can also bring this guy in so that we can see what's happening and I'm gonna bring it a little here and maybe a little out just like that so it it looks it looks good right cool so there we go now our camera looks like a third person camera now what we can do is let's just uh, or let me just go ahead and take the camera base and tell you what we're gonna do so in order to rotate the camera we have to rotate the camera base all right so if we rotate the camera base it looks something like that in the game view so that is what we're gonna do we're gonna rotate the camera base so that is the third person camera all right cool okay now what we need to do is we need to select the camera base and say add component and say fsm so if you don't have fsm or if you don't know where to get it then you should see my previous videos the first and second part on how to make gta on uh, in unity all right and there you will find it and the link to that is in the description box below so you can see all the gta series tutorials in the link in the description box below so i have made a playlist to that okay so the camera base uh, let's just go ahead and say edit in the FSM and what we're gonna do is we're gonna say um, move towards all right move towards and we want the camera base to move towards the camera follow all right so that it can follow the camera uh, the, the player okay so let me just quickly show you if the player moves forward uh, which it's not doing <laughs> camera follow Oops. okay if the player moves forward so does the camera follow all right 
and the player base will start following the uh, the, the the camera follow all right so both of them will be in the same position so the camera uh, the camera will also follow the the player I hope you understand it <laughs> I'm really sorry if I'm confusing there we go okay so it's not that hard oops everything gone wrong move towards the camera follow drag and drop the camera follow in here all right cool and make sure the finish distance is zero so that the camera follow does not the camera does not stop following the the player all right make sure it's zero and if we play now the camera should start following the player there we go so as you can see if we move our player the camera will also move with the player but now uh, there's no uh, way to you know rotate the camera so let's just fix that so we have to go ahead and go to camera base or let's just go to cam uh, the joystick canvas setup and in the right joystick which is this one this right joystick uh, we have to use this right joystick in order to to um, uh, rotate the camera all right control the camera so the right uh, joystick is set up to horizontal and vertical and they are called right stick horizontal and right stick vertical so these are the two axes uh, which we're gonna use as a vector but they're not set up in the input so we have to also set up in the input so go to project settings input uh, or we can just go ahead and s okay leave it or we, we can do it later um, go to camera base and say edit and now what we need to do is we need to get vector and when we say get vector we want how to do get axis vector because how to do get axis vector is of course for touch system and the normal get axis vector is for the the you know PC and all that stuff but for Android we need how to do get axis vector which is my get axis vector <laughs> uh, and I made it by myself so if you want that the link to that is also in the description box below again I'm saying if you don't understand what's happening over here then you should watch my previous videos the link to that is in the description box below so go check that out okay so the get axis vector is set to horizontal and vertical but we want it to be uh, right stick horizontal and right stick vertical all right so go ahead and say lock so that if we click anything the playmaker will be over here otherwise if we select anything else the playmaker will vanish so make sure you lock it and then go to your right stick joystick and copy the right stick horizontal so that we don't have any spelling mistakes or something so paste it in right stick horizontal in the horizontal axis and same goes for the vertical paste it over here so there we go cool and now if we go to edit project settings input there we can see the different axes so horizontal vertical for the PC and there's another horizontal and vertical for the joystick which we used over here this one uh, as you can see horizontal and vertical but we don't have anything for the right stick horizontal and right stick vertical so if we're gonna use that we have to also put it in here which is the controls for unity right so in order to do that you have to increase this number with 2 so in my case it's 18 so I'm gonna set it to 20 uh, 20 or let's just increase it with 1 so in my case it's 18 so I'm gonna set it to 19 so there we go an extra duplicate of this previous uh, button pops out in here and we're gonna set the name to the exact name which we used here so there should be no spelling mistakes otherwise uh, it can be a great problem all right and then what you have to do is you have to just backspace and decrease uh, you know erase everything in here and the gravity let's just see the horizontal uh, gravity should be zero and then the that should be 0.19 and the sensitivity should be one all right and then you have to set the type to joystick axis all right and the axis we want is horizontal which means x axis so that's good and the other other things are also good now what we need to do is we need to increase the number with one again so let's just set it to 20 so that this exact same thing pops out again and in this case we have to set it to vertical so i'm gonna just set it to vertical 
instead of horizontal and the uh, other options remain same except the x-axis to y-axis because this is vertical so y-axis and I think that's it yeah I think that's it uh, so yeah if we have anything else we can come back and change it again but I think that's it for now and yeah so now what we have to do is we have to store the vector in some kind of a variable so which is store vector in some kind of variable so we're gonna make a new variable and set it called uh, vector simple as that all right okay so the direction so the vector is actually a three float all right vector is three floats or uh, which is actually simple in simple terms it's a direction all right so we're gonna store the direction in a variable called vector and then we're gonna use that variable to rotate so let's see if you want to rotate I think rotate so we're gonna rotate the camera base in that direction so the user owner is the camera base the vector which we stored is the vector and XYZ is good space should be world and I think that's that all right and I know there is a problem in here but I am gonna ignore that because I want you guys to see what's happening in here so let's just go ahead and say play okay so now you, you can see it's rotating but it's not in the you know it's really weird and all that it's <laughs> look at that so what is the problem well we want the direction to be relative to the camera right so we want the direction to be relative to the camera so to do that we have to drag and drop the camera inside the how to do get axis vector relative to so that the direction becomes relative to the camera so in which direction the camera will be facing the direction will also be in that particular case and now if you play it should work properly uh, okay it's not oops it's not working okay so as you can see if we move it upwards and downwards it's gonna do that and okay so if we move the uh, move the joystick in the uh, horizontal axis it's gonna rotate in the y-axis all right as you can see that but if we're gonna rotate in the opposite axis it's gonna rotate in the opposite axis so that's not really what what we want so let's just um, let's just fix that so as you can see in the get axis vector we have map to plane X and Z but we want X and Y so we're gonna set it to X and Y first thing is that and then what we want is we want to invert this this thing all right so the I don't know there's a problem with the uh, with the joystick so let's just go ahead and fix that so let's just copy this name or let's just copy horizontal control X and let's paste it over here and paste the vertical vertical over here all right so if it's in case, if it's confusing then I will um, explain it to you uh, well there's a problem and I made that problem I don't know why but there's some problem that the axes are inverted all right so the x-axis is actually working as y-axis and the y-axis is acti acting as a her, uh, the x-axis all right so both the axes are uh, inverted and we have to invert this from here so that <laughs> we can uh, we can fix the problem all right I, I know it's confusing but but let's just do that okay I'm really sorry for confusion but okay so now if you play uh, play the game it should actually work so there we go if you bring it down the the camera goes down if you bring it up the camera goes up left and right yeah uh, but there's a problem over here so if uh, like it's it's okay right now but we cannot uh, you know like in any Android game a third person game there is no uh, joystick to control the camera right so we can uh, you can, we can use our finger anywhere in the screens to you know move the camera however it's not working over here as you can see if you click over here it's not working uh, so how to fix that 
so in order to fix that go ahead and come out of your game and we have to select the joystick and the right joystick and uh, just check mark both of the uh, move base and snap to fingers so that if you play the game right now you can see if I touch over here the joystick will come over here if I touch over here joystick will come over here so it will snap to where our fingers will be so that is really cool however we don't want these this this joystick to be over here so we don't want this joystick to be visible so in order to do that select both of the joystick base and the stick and just disable this image um, component so that we cannot see the joystick but it is still over there so it is an invisible joystick so now it looks good right so yeah cool awesome and we can move up and down left and right and that's really cool uh, however the speed of the rotation is really low so we have to make the rotation speed faster so in order to do 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 <laughs> in order to do that we have to come in here and increase the multiplier in the uh, how to do get axis vector so let's just go ahead and set it to 3 for now and oops what the heck let's just play the game and see if it is okay or if we have to decrease it or something like that uh, it certainly is little faster so let's just go ahead and set it to 2 check that and it's still a little fast but let's check 1.6 uh, or 7 yeah that's is good that is good so uh, let's set it to 1.9 or 8 9 that's good okie dokie so that is for today's video that's it for the no 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 that's not it for today's video if we move our character forward it will move in the forward direction irrespective to the camera direction so if we set the camera like this and if we move the character forward it's gonna move forward like that and so that's not what we want right so in order to fix that we have to go in the the, the player FSM edit and we have to go to the how to do guess axis vector and we have to set camera as the relative to so drag and drop the camera in here and that will fix the problem and if we play now uh, we will see as you can see we can rotate and if we rotate the camera like that and if we move the camera right now as you can see the we can, uh, the player rotates like that so that is really cool okay that's it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed and if you want to see my previous videos again i'm saying the link to that is in the description box below so i have made a playlist uh for the gta uh, series for the android and this was the third video uh, and soon there will be new videos like how to add car system so i will add a car in here so that our character can uh, actually drive the car get inside outside and and I will try I will try to make the car enter and exit animation uh, so that the player uh, animates while getting inside the car and animates while getting outside the car and I will also try to add uh, guns and also an aircraft so yeah if you want to learn that go ahead subscribe to my channel and if you want to support me you can also support me uh, through donating with some money through PayPal the link to that is in the description box below and hope you guys enjoyed my video and i will see you in the next video till then peace out <laughs>